Hello, everybody. Um, I'd like to welcome you to Valemount for one thing, and on this exciting day for me, being kind of a salmon nut. Um, been involved in these salmon for a long time, so it's really neat to me to find out that we're getting more funding to do more stuff to Swift Creek. And I'm going to introduce Kathy. You all met her once before today, and Bob. And uh, they will tell us what monies are coming and what for. And then I can answer some questions about the project to date and what we're going to be doing with the next step. Bob Zimmer. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Yeah, it's, it's great to be here again. A lot of the same faces I saw just about half an hour ago, I see here too. So it shows a good, strong community in Vilma. Uh, just, I'm supposed to introduce Kathy McLeod, and I have a big, long speech. It's actually five pages long. There it is right there, and I could go on with that, but I think most of you know who Kathy is. I've gotten to know her as part of BC Caucus. Again, I'm BC Caucus Chair. Uh, Kathy is just one of those tireless workers behind the scenes. A lot of the job they, the public thinks is just in uh, question period, but that's only a small snapshot of what we actually do in Ottawa and back in our ridings. And Kathy's been one of those stalwart uh, folks that you're going to lose her, but hopefully I can, uh, I say fill your boots, fill her boots uh, adequately enough uh, from what you've had so many years with, with Kathy. But, but I won't keep talking. I'll introduce Kathy, my colleague, and uh, again, hope to see you on the other side of October. But uh, here's Kathy. So first of all, I want to thank everyone that's here, and I also want to say how much it has been my pleasure to, I'll say it again because it is really my pleasure, to have been your Member of Parliament since 2008. And, uh, you know, I tried to make it up a couple of times a year, and every time I was up here, I discovered something new, something different. And, and again, my feature today was the Cranberry Marsh. And then, of course, didn't I know that, I should have known that Bruce was part of, uh, he could tell me all about the Cranberry Marsh and the history, and so certainly a real treasure. Um, but mostly what we're here to talk about today, it was a couple of years ago in uh, 2013 that the government sort of looked at our fisheries and, and said, you know, we recognize that we have a lot of overlooking and overlapping interests, but we also have some important, important work that we need to do around, um, you know, this the habitat and protection of the habitat and, and maintaining that important um, industry. So what we ended up doing was creating what I, I I love this program. It's called the Recreational Fisheries uh, Program. And that started in 2013. Incredibly, incredibly popular, oversubscribed. And Swift Creek actually was one of the first recipients of some funding through, through that restoration project. Being at the headwater of the Fraser, I think it was at a slide, Bruce can tell us the details, but a slide had done some critical damage to the habitat. And so they were the um, recipients. And I remember it was a day in August and he took us down and the Chinook were spawning and he gave us a talk and I was just like, wow, what an incredible treasure that you have in, in this location. Anyway, um, again, it was um, in 2014-15, so there's been a total to date of 230,000 that has been put into this particular restoration, the very important work there. But uh, there's still work to be done, and there's, uh, I understand sockeye have come up for the last couple of years for the first time in over 20 years, is that, is that? Sockeye have been coming up for about three years now and spawning here, and we don't know why. We're trying to figure this one out, because it's not a stream <laughs> they should be using. So, so anyway... Um, we need more money for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the, um, they, they did another application into the recreational fisheries. So the government said this program is good, it's working, it's hundreds and thousands of projects throughout the country that it's been very, very successful with. So in the 2015 budget, we made another commitment for an additional three years. An application was made and it's through um, the BC Nature conservation that uh, is sort of the middleman in terms of the projects and and so what's happening is they have been successful in up to $436,000 for the next piece of work that they have to do. So significant. I, I have done other announcements around these projects. Up to 436000 is certainly one of the largest announcements that I've looked at in terms of one of these projects. But again, I think you have important, important work that you need to, to do here. So having uh, said that, I think it's a huge, huge uh, 
announcement. I, you've got to wonder why the word's up to. I think they have to can do the final crossing of the T's and the I's in the agreement. So uh, that's why I say up to, but there's certainly significant funds that are available for the next step. And with that, I think maybe Bruce can tell us about what the next piece of the work has to be. You didn't tell me. Thank you. Um, I'd like to start out by pointing out behind me, these are the new interpretive signs that will go on the new kiosks that we got different grants for. I should, maybe I shouldn't say that, they cut our scoff, but um, this one shows some of the first work. It was up by Carl Auer's property, and it was a big erosion area, and it's what caused the damage in the first place. So when we did our first study, we actually looked at what the river needs. We came up with a watershed plan. These were the, the identified places to happen in phase one of this funding. Now in phase two of this funding, we're actually looking at um, in-stream habitat for fish to hide in, so structures, logs, things that they can hide under, and different flow uh, regimes and things like that, so that these fish have an optimum place to rear here for over a year before they go back down to Vancouver. So this next part is the, the real stream fix-up part. And uh, I'm quite excited about that because I plan on learning some stuff from, from Mike over there in the corner, blushing away like a little bride, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he does all the work for us, and he's the one that has a, the understanding of how to do the, the technical, biological stuff to the water. So um, I want to thank all the people that have been partners, uh, especially the Recreational Fishing, Fisheries Conservation uh, Program. They funded us greatly now, and, and especially the fact that we can run these things through partnerships so the Swift Creek Watershed Society can be the front. I just concentrate on the educational part, the part that will make people change their attitudes towards the salmon. And um, the BC Conservation Foundation is the one that will oversee the work. So it's kind of a neat to have so many agencies, so many things working for Valmount. Um, and of course, if you listen to me, there's no better fish on the whole river anyway. So, um, But I would like to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, the SIMP are very involved with us in this. They've, they've monitored their uh, things on the river. They've helped us do some, some studying on the sockeye, actually, because I didn't know what to do about them. <laughs> so I really got some good help and some good pointers from them to start looking at that. And then we will have to do something if they keep coming back here, because that's a whole new new ball game. So I thank you all for coming out. I thank Kathy. And, well, thank you. Yeah, um, and I really do hope that we see you again, both of you. Okay. Thank you very much. So, so I, I'm not sure if anyone wants real technical information or that's good enough for... And I also want to recognize that uh, Chief Forche is here. Um, he was joined us at the barbecue, and I have to say that barbecue, in terms of all levels, all different, um, you know, federal, provincial, First Nations, local government, um, it was. I think that we should be doing more of that, and uh, I think you're the ones that have taken the lead in terms of creating that opportunity for everyone to actually be together. So congratulations, I haven't had that opportunity where it's been a community meet and greet and everyone has showed up, so I think that's very special. But uh, I just wanted to ask, there's one lady here that I think organized it, can she stand? Jennifer. 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 So any for, questions? Yeah. For me, I just will say, for me, it was a real good welcome to Valmount from all of you. So thanks for a great first impression for me, and hopefully I can reciprocate and be of good service to you in the future. So 